dude oh my god why dude this quality is way better than my fucking camera quality okay okay what's going on everybody so i actually already tried to film this video once and i was looking over the footage and i was like why do i look so washed out and then i was starting to take pictures for the thumbnail with my phone and i was like this quality is way better than my freaking camera what am i doing i'm out here trying to switch it up like i stay vlogging on my phone and i don't know why i decided to use my camera currently by my front door slash living room this is a very weird setup but just bear with me because my room is a mess and i'm tired que me critique, no quiero que me critique. i really don't want to do my bed today so here we are in my freaking living room floor what's up so excited you guys do not understand how much i really like to film these sit down videos i think sit down videos are literally the funnest videos to film because you can just talk all day by the way i'm sorry for whatever that noise is it's probably like a plane or a helicopter or something or you know say basically what this video is going to be is what i keep in my gym bag or what i take to the gym things that i like to take to the gym things that help me have better workouts at the gym with a little bit of a sprinkle with a little bit of a sprinkle of miscellaneous because you guys know me like i can never just have one thing you know this is the bag that i carry with me i used to be the type of girl that would carry those really big gym bags with her you know and i just carried my whole house with me but that is not the case anymore now just carry a little backpack and this backpack fits so many things so accessories i like to take to the gym first because i'm pretty sure that's why all of you guys clicked on this video duh i got a couple of things huh <laughs> thing that you guys probably see people take to the gym and it is resistant bands i have three different ones here that i love to take to the gym this one has been my go-to recently this one is from booty basics gram over here and i will have everything linked down below love to take these type of bands for hip thrusts and i like to use these also for warming up before i get my workout started these right here typically have way more resistance and are a little bit heavier um, than anything like this would be so i love to use this one in between my workouts to intensify my workouts so i really feel the burn i like to use this for hip thrust to make my hip thrust a little bit more difficult i get a lot of questions about this one as well this one right here is just a very thin resistant band a lot of you guys ask me where to get this one and these ones honestly you can just get them at like marshall's or tj maxx you can get like a four or five pack at marshall's or tj maxx for like maybe six or seven dollars so i definitely recommend checking there before you order them online girl before you do that go check your local tj maxx marshall i know there's a tj maxx like 10 minutes away from your house go check there before you order any online this one typically i like to use to do kickback anything that requires me to extend a lot not only that but i love to use these for upper body I like to have these type of bands for the days that i'm gonna work on upper body but i don't really want to i don't want to be out with like 10 people by the cable area or like by the dumbbell area sometimes i just don't want to deal with people so i do use these for upper body sometimes and i really really think that they are the shit this one right here is basically like this one just a little bit thicker doesn't rip that easily so i can really go ham with this one dude whose mans whose mans is outside making all this noise next thing that i like to take to the gym is this little pad for the barbell these come in so handy i use this to squat or anything like that like i know a lot of girls or people in general like to use these um to put on the barbell for when they squat so it's more comfortable i don't use it for that but i use this for hip thrust because i stay getting those bruises right here by the crotch area and they are just not cute like i don't want to have bruises there gym <sighs> low-key stingy with their accessory stuff sometimes like sometimes they stay stingy with like the bomb ass pads you know like sometimes i'm like hey can i use your your pad or the barbell whatever they hand me one and it's like the trashy one and it's like dude just give me the well padded one like ordered my own this thing was literally maybe like 12 maybe 14 bucks at most on amazon um it had the best review and it has not failed on me yet i did i did as you can see write my name on it because i don't want the gym thinking that this is there another thing that i like to carry this is to do the cable kickbacks cable kickbacks are so important for the booty 
for the booty gains. I know a lot of people use these little ankle wrap things uh, as well for ab workouts and stuff like that. I usually just use this for cable kickback. What it looks like, very cute, very high quality, and it is very easy to carry. So it's very easy to carry, which is what I like the most about it because it fits in here. And as you can see, I'm very limited to what I can. Next thing I like to take is a wrist strap. I only carry one with me because it's only this wrist that has problems. When I do bench or when I do some sort of heavy squat or something that requires me to hold a dumbbell or something up here, this hand likes to just like grip on shit hella hard for some weird reason and it hurts my wrist really really bad so i like to have this wrist wrap so that way my wrist does not hurt and i don't get injured injuries are not cute next gym related thing that i always like to carry on me is my polar a360 watch i think that's what it's called if not i will have it over here as most of you guys know i have talked about this watch many many times on my channel before basically this helps me keep track of the calories I'm burning. It helps me keep track of my heart and all of that stuff. So there is never a day that I do not have this on me. I always keep it in my backpack whether I'm going to the gym or not because I hate when I forget it at all times is some sort of water bottle. I know a lot of you girls or a lot of you people love to buy those hydro flask things, but don't even drink your water. Like recently I've been having this water bottle on me because I purchased this when I was in LA and I just don't want to throw it away like I don't want to be wasteful you know so I've been just using this because it's like a cute little size it has a little handle on I've already drank one full one and half of this one so water intake is on point right now if not it's annoying walking to the water fountain every two minutes not only that but even if you're not thirsty you want to have water on you because you should be drinking water consistently throughout the day not just when you're thirsty things are basically just miscellaneous so i like to have my airpods on me i used to use the beats the one with the little cable but those things broke on me within like six months because they were so expensive they were almost 300 dollars. these right here are like a hundred and something dollars they work well super easy to connect and it's just i literally i really love airpods like i didn't want to buy them but then my boyfriend got them for me for christmas and they are literally everything and i just really 10 out of 10 recommend so, always like to have a fragrance on me this one right here is daisy dream by mark jacobs you don't want to smell bad after the gym especially if you have something to do i'm the type of person that always has stuff planned after the gym so i don't come straight home so i like to kind of be put together smell a little good you know please have a lip liner on me uh this lip liner is stripped down it's the lip liner i have on today or i just outlined my lips with it and then a pencil sharpener next thing i have on me is always like some sort of spray i usually have a fix plus on me because i like fix plus a little bit better but i'm trying to finish this one this one's the urban decay quick fix basically kind of just refreshes your makeup if you're wearing makeup to the type to wear makeup to the gym cool if you are against wearing makeup to the gym cool okay live your life don't be worried about what other people be putting on their faces okay next along with that i like to have dry shampoo this one was actually sent to me powder one so you kind of put a little bit and then like go like that with your i used to buy the little travel size ones at like target but i would go through them so fast and this right here you literally need a little tiny bit along with that i like to carry some hair ties and a brush so so that way i can kind of either fix my hair or put my hair up or whatever so another thing that's basically self-explanatory is hand sanitizer always have hand sanitizer on me because the gym is a very gross place people be going to the gym sick you don't know what people are doing there with their hands you don't know if people are washing their hands hand sanitizer sanitizing cbd thing but i carry pre-workout in here just because i only take half a scoop of pre-workout in my car and then sometimes when i get inside of the gym i'm not feeling my pre-workout so then i'll take the other half there so i like to carry it in this little uh old cbd thing that i used to have so i carry like two scoops of pre-workout in here just just in case you know if i'm not feeling my pre-workout take a little bit more inside of the gym 
my pata is falling asleep. Another thing that I always have on me, even if I don't take it at the gym, is my CBD stuff. I take CBD mostly for anxiety problems. I don't really take it for anything else, um, but it has a lot of benefits. No, it does not contain THC. Um, you cannot get high off of it either. Um, it just kind of relaxes you depending on how much you take. My tolerance has gone pretty high, I feel like, so I take three gummies and with three or four of them, I'm typically fine and chilling, feeling a little bit panicky. I take some of these and they help me calm down. I take these religiously at night because they help me sleep. I knock out by like 11 o'clock. By the way, I don't carry this big thing with me. I carry them in a little plastic bag. By the way, I will try to have a link to all of these items in the description box down below. Then the last thing that I like to carry is my planner. Um, I carry this everywhere with me to the gym whether I'm going to the gym or not. I always like to have this on me. Sometimes I do plan out my workouts on here if I'm kind of in a rut and I don't really know what to do. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything. I don't always have the chance to do a sit down video because everyone is always home. I got a sister and I got parents, so I don't live alone. Like I can't just film sit down videos whenever I want to. So I had the chance to do one and I did and I am very happy. Hi right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys as always. I'm sorry this video was not as exciting as my other ones, but I just really wanted to keep it chill this week, you know? The next upcoming video is gonna be pretty exciting. I am a very, very, very exciting video. I don't know if I'm gonna have it up after this one, but yeah, it's gonna be a very exciting one. I'm very excited. Bands and make her dance. Bands and make her dance. So if you want to follow my socials, I recommend you do if you're trying to see what I'm eating on the daily all the time in my stories I'm very very consistent on my Instagram stories and I feel like I put out really good content on my Instagram stories So check it out girl. Also check out my description box for anything featured in this video. I Did full freckles. They're cute, huh? Thumbnail I should do a thumbnail like this